Hi, I'm Julie Eshma, the author of Ivory and Bone, and here are some fun facts you may not know about me. Before I started writing novels, I wanted to be an actress when I was young, and I lived in New York City, and I went on a lot of auditions. And one of the final auditions I went on was for a commercial, and they were casting for punk rock girls and seven-year-old boys who could whistle. And I think the chaos of that waiting room with all these girls trying to spike their hair into phony mohawks and dozens of little boys trying their darndest to whistle uh, may have led me to believe that acting was not for me. I was working my day job at, for a cosmetics company. I worked at one of the counters in the big Bloomingdale's in 59th Street. And I used to meet famous people who would come to the counter. And my favorite person who came to the counter, um, I didn't know who she was until she handed me her credit card, and it was Judy Bloom. And I did get a chance to tell her that as a child I had read all of her books and that I was a huge fan. I've been a lifelong fan of Audrey Hepburn, and I own seven books about her. And I've seen every single one of her movies at least once. And in fact, she's the only person I've ever written a fan letter to. So in the weird things that writers keep on their desks department, I keep a section of bone on my desk. And it was found in the woods. And we think it's a deer vertebrae, but it, can, it helps me feel connected to my characters. After I directed two short films, I was recruited by a friend to direct a stage play for a community theater. And I was terribly unqualified for this job, but they convinced me to do it because the show was Wait Until Dark. And I love the movie version that stars Audrey Hepburn. So I was convinced to do it, and I did do it. I directed Wait Until Dark for the Hanover Street Theater in New Jersey. It came off really well, but I will surely never direct for the stage again. Over the years, I have had my hair from super, super short to longer than it is now. I've had it from platinum blonde to jet black. and everywhere in between. And then around the time I was about 24, I just was tired of upkeep and I decided I wasn't going to do it anymore. So I took it back to its natural color and it has been this color ever since. I was born with a thumb that is shorter and wider than the average thumb. And my friends and family all my life have referred to it as my toe thumb. But I, it's actually known as brachydactyly type D, or BDD. And I only recently found out that traditionally it was known as a murderer's thumb because fortune tellers and palm readers believe that that trait was associated with people who had a fiery temper.